I am going to do something kind of new today that I've never done before. I am going to do a little makeup tutorial. Um, I know that a lot of you probably know I've been a makeup artist for about five years, uh, doing weddings, commercial shoots, um, just doing makeup for people that have special events. And so that has been really fun. And now I kind of have a new passion in my life. And that is, I kind of discovered some really amazing products through Beauty Counter. Um, it's, you know, first I was really drawn to the makeup. Um, and for me, it's all about performance. I don't want to use a product if it doesn't work well. So that's what really blew me away. I had tried Beauty Counter maybe four or five years ago. And, you know, I liked the products, but I wasn't totally blown away by them at that time. But trying them again now as they've had time to add to their line and, and change their formulations and improve them. And it's uh, it's just really been exciting. I've, I've really fallen in love with most of the products in the makeup line and also had some time to dabble in the skincare and try that and loving all the products there too that I've gotten to try. Um, so bear with me. I've never done a tutorial before, but I'm just going to show you a simple look. Um, you know, no need to get glammed up to go sit on the couch, but it's nice to look nice anyway, even though we're kind of not really going anywhere. So I will get started. Um, I'm just gonna clip my hair back. And if anyone has any questions about what I'm doing, you can just uh, put them in, DM me or put them in the comments and I will get back to you with answers. So first of all, I'm gonna start with their new foundation, Skin Twin, and I use shade medium 340. Um, I'm also, with this foundation, you can apply it with a brush. You can apply it with your fingers. And I just recently am trying their Beauty Blender. A Beauty Blender is really nice for just a smooth application and it also just leaves a really even finish, no streaking as a brush can do. Um, if that happens with a brush, you can always just gently pat where the streak, you know, the lines are and it'll smooth it out. But I do like a beauty blender. One thing you do need to do is make sure you wash your beauty blender with soap every single time, right away when you're done. Um, and you do need to replace them. I mean, I would say at least every couple weeks to a month if you're using it frequently. Um, otherwise they can lock in some, you know, bacteria and things like that. So I am just gonna take a couple pumps, maybe just we'll start with maybe one and a half pumps of the Skin Twin Foundation. Uh, the, the sponge will eat a little bit of the product, so, um, you know, sometimes one or two pumps won't, won't seem like that much. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to distribute the product evenly on my face in, uh, you know, cheeks, forehead, nose. You don't have to do polka dots everywhere, but... And then I'm just going to use stipple. You don't wipe with the Beauty Blender, you stipple. And that keeps the product where you placed it and where you want it, rather than just smearing it. All over your face. So that's what I'm doing. Get it into the hairline without getting it, you know, all over your hair. Go back by the ear and just blend. Feels good. It's very cooling. This um, foundation has hyaluronic acid, which if you know, you know, a lot about skincare, it's just a super hydrating ingredient that um, I'm gonna put some on my eyelids too that is um, really nice and it kind of plumps the skin and makes it glow and a little, have a little bit of a dewy look. Um, because it is a very dewy formula, I'm gonna show you how I set under my eyes. I don't know if you've ever had problems with creasing under your eyes after you apply a foundation, you know, just when you smile or, you know, make expressions. Uh, if the product is really dewy and not like a dry matte finish, it just will naturally gravitate to those um, expression lines in your face. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to set it. But first, I think I'm pretty well blended there. Um, I'm going to use my, a little bit of my concealer too. It's the Skin Twin Creamy Concealer. So, I'm just going to take my little wand and just apply it under the eye and kind of, I'm doing a little it's a little bit light for me. I ordered the darker one, so but it kind of is fun to highlight my cheekbone area. And then if you have any like little spots that need to be 
cupboard as well. A little mask knee action. I know that's been happening to me. My skin's kind of freaking out when I have to wear a mask. So I just am going to pat it in with my finger. You could use your beauty blender, but I find that the product, like I said, the sponge tends to eat it up. So when I'm covering a small area, I like to just use my finger and, but I might use it under my eyes because I do have quite a bit of product there. Using your ring finger or middle finger are good because you won't put too much pressure on your eye area. And I have some concealer on my fingers now and I'm just going to put a teensy bit on my lid to prime my lid for the upcoming cream shadow that I'm going to apply, which is one of their um, holiday bundles and they're really pretty colors. So I got those and I've been enjoying kind of the easy um, application of those and having a really pretty kind of sparkly look. So, all right, I think my concealer's pretty well blended. You could use your normal powder brush for your setting powder. I'm using the matte mattifying powder from Beauty Counter, um, but I'm gonna use this little, it's an eye brush because the area under my eye is small and so is the brush and it's kind of fluffy. So it's just like a mini powder brush, but any brush that you have will work or I even would use a dry you know, sponge or you could use your beauty blender um, just to get a little bit of powder on it. First, you wanna pat out because sometimes creasing happens right away and you don't wanna set a creased under eye. So pat it out and then just dust the powder just under the under eye there. I'm not gonna powder my whole face because I really love the dewy look that the that the skin twin does so just setting under the eye and since i put a little bit of the powder on my eyelids too i'm going to pat out any creasing that has taken place there and just set that so i don't get creasy eyelids and this is a problem that i know a lot of women especially my age and up um, deal with is the creasing just because as we get older we do get a, a few more lines and that's okay. So, all right, so that's pretty much my base um, with my concealer foundation and a little bit of powder. This next next product is one of my favorites. Um, it's the Color Pinch Cream Blush Stick and it is in the color Caramel. Um, just so pretty on and I, this is what I've been using every day and I just love it. So um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of the color. You can just kind of dot it on or whatever on the cheeks i have like apples so you can if you do you can put it right there if you don't really have like a full cheek you can put it wherever you would normally put your blush dot it on i've used it as a lipstick too looks kind of funny but i'm gonna blend i'm just gonna do that stippling a little bit of wiping back and stippling piece of hair there we go gives me that glowy look I love this stuff. And they also have a pink color and then a deeper color. Um, I can't remember the names of those, but they're really nice. I just ordered the pink one. So there is that. If I were in a real hurry, I could just, I could even swipe it on my lips, as I said. So uh, cheeks are done. And then I am really excited to try their brow mascara. It's, I forget what the name of it is exactly. It's coming in the mail. The post is very backed up this holiday season, but I did start with the uh, brow pencil just because I was out of my brow pencil. So for today, I'm just going to use that to define my brows. And on one end, it has the little brush and on the other end, it has the pencil. So normally I love my brow mascara because it kind of gives definition to the eyebrow and holds the, the brow in place, kind of sculpts it a little, but um, Pencil works too. So I'm just making like little brush, or not brush strokes, but hairline strokes where my brows kind of naturally are. If you have like any bare patches where they've kind of thinned out, you can fill that in too. This is the color, sorry, medium. Um, if you're blonde, you want to go with kind of a taupe color. And uh, if you're a brunette, a nice dark brown is pretty. If you have black hair, even I would still maybe use the dark brown um, unless you like the way the black looks better. There we go. So I'm not going to go too crazy because I'm literally going to go unload the dishwasher next. So, all right. So my brows are done. Um, now we get into the cream shadows. There are four colors that come in the bundle that I'm going to use just two 
because you don't need all four at the same time, but it's nice to have them to change up the looks. The first one I'm gonna use is called Soft Gold. And that one I'm just gonna apply all over my eyelid. It's just a pretty light shimmery color. Um, so it comes with a little applicator. So I'm just gonna swipe it on. I'm going up to my brow bone because it's light enough to be used as your brow, as your um, highlight for your eye as well. So going not a crazy amount, but applying it all over. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just use my ring fingers again to blend. So just pat, pat, pat. And you can kind of feel it starting to dry um, as you're blending it, so that's good. You just wanna make sure you don't leave any blobs. There. Um, and then I'm gonna wait for it to dry. It takes just a couple seconds. And then I am going to use, the, uh, the second color I'm gonna use is called Amethyst. It's kind of a purple and it's really pretty. I think it'll look good with my little pink tones in my shirt. So I can feel that that's, that first layer is dry. So I'm only gonna go from my crease down or even just close to my lash line. Some people are using these as uh, a liner, which would also be a pretty effect. Um, but I want a little more color. I like, I like putting color on my lid up to my crease. So there's babies crying. I told you, don't worry, somebody's caring for them. Okay. So now I'm just blending that in. You can kind of close one eye at a time so you can actually see. And the placement of this product, you can put wherever you want. You don't have to put it just by the lash line. So that feels pretty well blended. How does it look? I've never done one of these, so it's kind of awkward for me, but I think it looks pretty. Uh, and then I do not have the Beauty Counter Mascara yet, so I applied one coat of mascara. Um, I am going to use just a mascara that I have laying around the house for a second coat. I had to put one coat on because, come on, no one wants to see me with my exhausted, no mascara eyes. <laughs> so pop on the mascara. And we're almost done. So quick. Um, this is also one of my favorite products. I just am loving all the kind of buttery textures that are in these products, like the, the cream blush as well. Um, so this is the Sheer Genius uh, Hydrating Lipstick. And it's so nice. Like I know everyone's dealing with dry skin and dry lips right now. So this stuff is wonderful. Um, so this is the color Rosewood. I'm just going to apply that. It's so, it also smells amazing. It's got uh, responsibly sourced vanilla. Uh, a lot of vanilla manufacturers or, you know, farms use child labor and other um, kind of bad work conditions for their employees. So I really like that, that aspect of beauty counter. So I don't have guilt using products that I know are responsibly sourced. So then I can make my hair look somewhat normal and I'm done. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, if you have questions, feel free to message me, call me, text me, um, or write something in the comments and I will answer your questions. It's been fun. Bye.